greetings to you all wonderful people and welcome back to family vita tips with ofria here today we are going to be talking on a very important topic the secrets of the husband praying for his wife wow the secret of a man praying for his wife or should i say the secret of couples praying for themselves step back so today we are going to be talking about couples who pray for themselves or the secret of a man praying for his wife if you are new on this platform you are new to my channel this is family vital tips with Ofre Hino and please subscribe subscribe to get you know to get our uh, new videos and like and share please because here we talk a lot about family because every nation that is upon the surface of the earth all begins with a family so we are talking we we are so much into talking about the family and raising a family with you know with some moral standard you know so that is what we do here and i love you so much my friends my viewers those who have subscribed to my youtube channel god bless you so much and as you do you know celebrate because this celebration period may we continue to celebrate and my celebration is not ends in our home individually helping you here in advance okay today talking about you know couples praying for themselves or a man the secret of a man praying for himself do you know the secrets that comes with a man that can pray for his wife do you know the secret of it the secret of it is all success that's the secret when a man can pray for his wife whether he goes to church he's not he does not go to church as far he's able to activate that position to pray for his wife i bought you his wife will go places the same thing with a woman who prays a lot for a husband the husband too we go places I don't want to just say this just saying it and people will be like ha but this one you know so before I I elaborate on it I want us to read the Bible verse which is the book of you know the book of um, um, the book of Genesis chapter 25 verses um, 21 the book of Genesis 25 verse 21 let me open it quickly and read you know Genesis 25 verses uh, 1 okay Genesis 25 verse 1, I read, the Bible says, And Isaac prayed to Yahweh for his wife, because she could not have children. And Yahweh heard Isaac's prayer, and Rebekah his wife conceived. Hmm. Did you hear that? Isaac prayed to Yahweh for his wife because she could not have children. Yahweh heard Isaac's prayer and Rebekah, his wife, conceived. Hmm? Let me read 22. As, he, as the children struggled together within her, she said, If it is like this, why do I continue to live? She went to consult Yahweh and Yahweh said to her, Two nations are in your womb ha this is interesting so the bible says at a point after uh, rebecca got married to isaac she was unable to conceive she was unable to have kids to you know 
get pregnant the bible says she became worried she became so worried and bothered and she cried and disturbed the husband like give me children or i die <laughs> and some men were like ah, but this woman your own self how do you expect me to give you children am i god like jacob reply like jacob the son of isaac later said to rachel Rachel said, give me children. He said, am I God? I am not God that gives children. Children comes from God. And just like the book of um, Psalm 127 verse 3, when the Bible says, children are in heritage from God and the, 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 the fruit of the womb, uh, the fruit of the womb is, is is a blessing you know so children are from god and they are not from man so it is not man that give children right it is not women that give children it is god that give children so the bible says rebecca was furious and was like isaac egg isaac give me children so isaac looked left right back and front and he said ah, what do i do the Bible says he went to God for prayer. He went to God and said, God, please, because there, is, there are other verses of the, there are other, um, um, sorry, other versions of the Bible, other Bible version. He said, he said, the Bible says, verse 21, let me read. This one is uh, King James Version. King James Version said, 21 and isaac entreated the lord for his wife because she was barren you understand you see king james elaborate more on it she was barren she was barren according to how the bible this uh, uh, the king james fashions elaborates on it she was barren because she was barren and the lord was entreated of him and rebecca his wife conceived To tell you that this woman was barren meaning there was no way she could have had children but the bible said the husband entreated god entreat god entreated for rebecca he prayed for, to god for rebecca he interceded for rebecca you know before god and god instantly answered him and he gave rebecca children and not just one but twins at a time To know the power that men have over their wives but you see nowadays and eh? nowadays you see men you see men you know even abusing their wife calling their wife's name reducing their wives with their own tongue imagine here if isaac could pray to god and god gave a, 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 a rich a rebecca children how much more if you can ask for something and do you also remember jacob when jacob uh, left laban and laban uh, laban pursued after them when he discovered that his girls his idols were missing and he came to jacob to it to just to jacob and said you stole from me and jacob said i stole nothing but if you find it among us here from anyone let that person die and the person who stole those things were rachel his wife and because the man has already pronounced it immediately after they found it the woman <laughs> all of a sudden begin to you know have complications with her pregnancy and in the process of giving birth she died she died because the husband already declared it and if you want to understand the deep the deepest of this thing that men actually need to pray for their wife you will take you will follow me you will follow me to the book of um the book of numbers chapter 30 the book of numbers chapter 30 from verse 5 i'll read but if her father if a father disallow her in the day that he heareth 
he hear it not any of her vows of her bounds with which she had bound her soul shall stand and the lord shall forgive her because her father disallowed her and if she had at all an husband when she vowed or utter out out of her lips wherewith she bound her soul her husband heard it and hid his peace at her in the day that he heard it then a vow shall stand and the bond with which she bound her soul shall stand but if i a husband disallowed her on the day that he heard it then he shall make her vow which she vow and that which she utter with her lips wherewith she bound her soul of no effect and the law shall forgive her was this place this this verse of this bible book of numbers 30 from verses 5 is telling us he's telling us that for you to know the level of which you can pray for your wife as a man that when you when you are able to speak over your wife when you are able to speak over your children that the lost honor seat is this so he said, when a woman vow, maybe the woman went outside, she make, you know, she involved herself in making vows and saying some things about to herself. And at the end of the day, things began to happen wrongly. And the husband gets to know about it. The Bible says, if the man here hears about it and renounce it and refuse it and rejects it and refuse that thing to stand, like, a. Hey, my wife said it, but is is not standing. I refuse to, you know, agree with it. The Bible says it cancels automatically, and God, even God, forgives speedily. And this is an illustration whereby if the girl is married, but if the girl is even a single, then the father too has the same right. And in verse thirteen, the the same uh, uh, number thirty verse 13 the bible say every vow and every binding oath to afflict the soul a husband may establish it or a husband may make it void i like this particular you know explanation the way god just put it here clearly Let me see verse 12. He said, But if her husband had utterly made them void on the day he heard them, then whatsoever proceed out of her lips concerning her vow or concerning the bond of her soul shall not stand. Her husband had made them void, and the Lord shall forgive her. Every vow and every binding oath to afflict the soul, a husband may establish it, or a husband may make it what void meaning whatsoever she said that uh that is having repercussion even to up to the point like maybe if she play, she mistakenly placed her course on herself you know she went to swear some oaths like we you know went to some place and she took an oath where where by the husband was not aware the bible says god said the moment the husband hear about this and he stands against it and you know and said okay my wife says so it stand that means it stand bagadam if the husband's uh, uh, you know if the husband says no to it and he and the bible say if the husband say no to it and a husband make it void and the husband make it void like no it cancels automatically and it shall not what stand can you imagine? Can you understand that? Then I, then, then I begin to like, you know, the first times I read these very chapters of the Bible, especially this Exodus, you know, I begin to, um, sorry, the book, of, <laughs> this uh, book of Numbers. Yeah, it's number, not Exodus. It's Numbers 30. I said, God, I began to imagine and I stood and I was like, then why are some men not able to say things positive into their wife? And all they can see sometimes is to degrade her like look at you. And you know, seeing your mate, dirty woman, stinky woman, very nothing woman. And they begin to heap negativities into their wife. 
You see that they don't, you know, they, they don't know what they, the power they have that even if they feel this woman is possessed, and you see some of them, they'll say, you are possessed, as in, as in what eh? my people will say, each and people will say, as in no way. As in no way. As in no way. You know, you have the authority to take it off, huh? you know, meaning like uh, some, you are possessed of demon, you know, of witchcraft, and it's troubling you, that's the meaning. You know, so, and they begin to, they begin to say, um, you, you know, things that are not good to their wives. When they can actually speak positive things into the life of their wives. And the moment they speak it, God will honor it, you know. But they don't realize it. Instead, they stay there and they begin to talk to have, have often you know advise some men you know when especially they they feel and eh, she's too stubborn she's too this she's she always do things that make me go mad make me go sad you know i always tell them like hey look don't say she's stubborn if you know she's stubborn and those things she does does not makes you happy do you know you can put your hands on her and say come you're my wife anything that is making you to behave like this I remove it from your life in Jesus' name. It will go. You know it will go. I always tell them, and may, you know, most men they feel, uh, no, 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 no. I think we should, you should study your Bible more. Because this was Isaac. The Bible says Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife Rebecca. And instantly Rebecca took in and conceived. Meaning, instead of you to stay there and be seen a stupid woman with blockhead, you should go to God like, God, this is my wife. I see a woman with brain. I see a woman with potential. And I decree that she begin to manifest greatly in the name of Jesus. And before you know, things begin to work out. But some men know, even when the woman has got potentials, they will use their mouth to remove those things by, you know, saying negative things. The same thing with women. The same thing with women. Like when the Bible says, in the, the Bible said in the book of Proverbs that women, you know, that uh, uh, he that found it, why find it a good thing and obtain favor from God. To say that women are true China, are China true which men obtain even favor from God. Women, some women don't know this. Instead, they'll say that my husband, you stupid man, don't go and walk. You are not ashamed. Come on, 10,000 naira, you cannot give. You are here. Hey, let me tell you, madam. You better you better begin you the the earlier you begin to search yourself the better for you the better for you eh because you cannot just be abusing a man when the bible says the day he finds you he finds nothing but good things of life and obtain favor not from men but from god man and now this same man he cannot give you ten thousand error you are clamoring and you're abusing him Hey, go sit your ass down and begin to ask God why it is like that. By returning to the word of God to him, say, God, you said when my husband found me, he found good thing and obtained favor from you. If you obtain favor from you, then help him to swim in finance, in wealth, in money. And you will see God doing wonders. No, they will stay there. They will gossip. And you know, to the point that things like this has really led many women to be going out to commit adultery because they need money and their husband cannot give them the kind of money they want. So they begin to go outside with maybe other men they felt it has money, more money than their husband, and they begin to commit adultery, an abomination before God. Ah, no. Understand what God is saying here today. You've got that authority. And if you want to know, go back, reread the verse again, sit there, digest it very well. It was Isaac who prayed for Rebecca. It was not a pastor. She didn't go to see the, the priest. She didn't go to see any apostle. She didn't go to any miracle center. 
She didn't go to any place to pray. She didn't go anywhere. The man didn't go anywhere. The Bible said he knelt down. He entreated. He interceded for, to God for her wife, for his wife, sorry, for his wife. And she conceived. She prayed for the wife. What kind of, what have you done for your wife as a man? Are you praying for her or you are cursing her? And you see some men, they have the spirit of jealousy. They can envy their wife if their wife are doing well. Which is not right. Rather, you should say, ah, God, as you continue to spread the wings of my wife, you continue to prosper her. Also, help her to be the best wife, even with all this weight you have discharged to her. And that she will use it for the good and glory of your name and for the building and benefit of this family you've given to both of us together. And I bet you, before you know, your wife will bring the money and say, honey, here is it. But when you begin to jealous, you have already started, you know what is called witching, witching her, bewitching her without knowing. That's the truth. When a man envies his wife, jealous his wife's progress, he's is bewitching her and bewitching her what bewitching her you know failure and setback the same thing with the woman don't and woman if you are doing well you see your husband is supposed to be doing well go and pray for him go speedily go and pray for him go and pray for him and this is the secret that i have to tell you the secret of a man praying for his wife or the secret of couples praying for themselves. These are the secret of it. That is the secret blessings that comes from it without you knowing. So, instead of stay back there and begin to see your wife as the demon tormenting you, and begin to see your wife as not responsible woman and begin to see your wife as the don't well trained or brought up woman and you begin to see her as a dirty nothing nothing woman you better go and begin to prophesy into her life the way you want her the way you want to see her the way you you love to see your wife and and excuse me and the lord will grant every good intent of your heart you will ask for your wife in jesus name the lord god almighty who grants the request of isaac for rebecca we grant the intention the good intents of your heart for your husband women as you pray for your husband in the mighty name of jesus and may the lord give us the grace and ability to begin to pray for one another as husband and wife pray for one another as brethren in the lord pray for one another as family in the name of god the father in the name of god the son and in the name of god the holy spirit in jesus name amen i love you all all until i come your way next time this is still family vital tips with offer a hino stay blessed remain uh, you know remain blessed and please subscribe if you are new to this channel please subscribe you will enjoy everything we have every little information we have to give out here i love you all god bless you